Okay, today's video is going to be uh, in honor of our tip, tough economic times that we're having right now. And believe me, here in Florida, we're having it times 10. It's really, really bad. So therefore, I've become much more conscious of the money that I spend. And yes, I should have always been that way, but I haven't been over the past, I don't know how many years. But I have become much more conscious of it now. And um, I saw a video the other day, this makeup artist, his name's Josh Collier. I don't have the link or anything because I don't really even remember how I came across him, but he did a video on using a products that you have that you don't really like. And I just was like, oh my gosh, that's right up my alley because I like to use every drop of everything I buy before I buy new because I don't know, I just feel like it's a waste. These people that have makeup collections, I mean, I guess you can collect whatever you want, but I cannot imagine like one lady the other day, she said she had like a hundred blushes. A hundred blushes. You could blush China with a hundred blushes. But anyway, I'm not judging. I'm just saying I like to use my product up before I get a new one. I have two blushes. That's all I'm going to buy until I, I don't know. I don't know. Forget I'm even saying all that. But anyway, this video is about using up your products. Now, I'll let me give you another little quick tip of something that's totally unrelated. The other day I was going to go to the grocery store. We had nothing in the house to eat. I mean nothing. It was awful. It was horrible. There was nothing to fix for dinner, blah, blah, blah. So I sit down and I make my grocery list and I thought, you know what? I think I'll clean up my freezer. It's been a long time. I think I'll clean up my freezer and make sure that I don't buy something I already have. I went in the garage where I have a small, I mean a refrigerator freezer that we keep drinks in and stuff. And there were like three things out there. And then I came in the house, the fridge behind me and um, emptied it. I mean, emptied it. And I kind of put stuff in categories, like all on my counter and in my sink. I had all my frozen food out. By the time I was finished, I wrote out what I had. I had 13 dinners in the house of stuff in my freezer when I thought we had nothing to eat. Now that's embarrassing. But I guarantee you when you think you have nothing to eat, if you look and you think and you get a little bit creative, you can save money. Okay, that's a total side note. Anyway, now using up products that you have. This is a product that I get, was given by my sister-in-law. So sweet. She sent me a whole lot of stuff one year when I, I was doing something for her. So she kept sending me stuff. I didn't need it, but it was so much fun to be honest with you. She sent me one of the times was this little packet. It's rose water lip balm. You can't really tell it, but it's there. It's all sparkly. It's the cutest box, okay? And inside, and it's kind of like all Japanese-y, and it's called Tokyo Milk. And inside this box is this precious little container of um, lip balm. It's glass. It's so cute. And so I opened it up, and I like the smell, but to be honest, I would put it on. I do not like the taste of this. It tastes terrible. I don't like it at all. I wore it and wore it and wore it, and then I thought, you know, why am I forcing myself to put this stuff on that I don't like? But there was no way I was throwing this precious box and container away because it just made me happy. So it sat right here by my computer. Okay, upon watching Josh Collier talk about using up your products, oh my gosh, he said take lip balm or whatever, chapstick, whatever, that you don't really like, use it as a cuticle cream. You take it, take it out a little bit on your finger, and you sit here, and you rub it on your cuticles, and I do it all the time. I will use up every drop of this. There's quite a dent in it now. It's almost half gone because I have been using it. So I didn't use it for the purpose it was intended, but I'm certainly going to use every drop of it, and I'm so excited. Thank you again, Lori. And I'm sorry I didn't like the taste, but that's just how it goes. Anyway, this was a cute little thing. I don't even know, but I love it, and it sits right there under my Mac. Okay, second thing I thought of, or he thought of, um, moisturizer and different things like that that you don't like. I bought this a long, long time ago. It's Oil of LA. It's just a complete moisturizer, no big deal, with SPF uh, 20 in it, I think. I cannot stand this moisturizer because... It smells just like sunscreen. It smells exactly like sunscreen. And in the morning when I'm putting on moisturizer, I don't want to smell like the beach unless I'm going to the beach. I've told y'all this before. 
So this has been sitting in my drawer because I felt guilty because I paid probably $12 for this container. And then he said, take this and use it as a sunscreen somewhere else. Oh my gosh, changed my world. Threw it in my beach bag over the summer and look, it's almost all gone because I just used it as a sunscreen on my body because I wasn't gonna put it on my face and smell like the beach on non-beach days, if that makes any sense. So now I'm gonna use this completely up and I don't feel guilty anymore that I bought it. Other things that he talked about. Um, conditioner, if you have conditioner in your shower that you don't like, or you find something you like more, for whatever reason it's not working on your hair, you can use it to shave your legs. Just rub a little on and shave your legs. How weird is that? But hey, I believe it. He didn't come up with that one. That's one I heard somewhere else. Now, here is a blush that I have. I've told you all about my happy blush. And you can see I've used quite a bit of it. It's almost it's getting to the bottom of the container. But inside this blush was this funky little brush. Did I say blush and brush correctly? And I'm not going to use it to put blush on, but I could use it to clean my computer keys or whatever else you want to clean. So I thought that was a great idea, and I think that's going to be a great way to use that brush that I normally would just probably throw away whenever I threw the blush away. Um, or you can, something else I do, I have an old paintbrush that's thick and stiff, and when I'm in my car, I keep it in the console of my car, and I use it to just kind of clean dust and stuff that gets around the, um, you know, the window controllers, the gear shift, you know, I clean it with that little paintbrush that sits in there, and it, it just works great. Um, other moisturizer that you don't care for, for your face, even if it's not SPF, you can use that on your legs as just a moisturizing lotion. Um, there's so many things that you can think of to use up products, so be very, um, oh, he said take lip balm, chapstick in a pinch, and, you know, kind of put it on your eyebrows if they're going crazy or something. I don't know. I guess if you're like Grandpa on the Munsters, you could use that tip. But um, there's all kind of tips and stuff and things that you can think of for products you already own that you can use in a different way. So let's all be frugal and use up our products. Thanks. Bye-bye.